Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Binding of This Man. He's probably my favorite character these days, because, uh, Blue Baby used to be, but I've fallen out of favor with that guy lately. That little blue bastard. Can't stand him. So anyway, how's everyone doing? I'm hot as shit. It's 90 degrees here, and I'm sitting here with no aircon in my room with my window closed to stop background noise from the screaming little bastard children, that arsehole with the ice cream truck, and some dickhead. I think it's cool to chainsaw for eight hours a day right next to my goddamn house in the blazing heat. Fuck you, chainsaw guy. Fuck you. Damn it, I was hoping that would be the secret room, but either way, we got our bomb back. Bomb for a bomb, as you know, an acceptable trade could have been a lot better. Sure as shit it could have been. It'd also been a lot worse, as in, you know, not getting a bomb back whatsoever. And we have our treasure room and a spare bomb to possibly find that elusive secret room. Where are you hiding? Never mind, I see a uh, dinner truck. We'll blow that up because it's probably going to give us a better reward. Two soul hearts. Yeah, that's better than the slot machine any freaking day. Cool, I don't want it. Demon baby, I want you. I want you inside of me. All right, boss time. I'm thinking we're due a family because we ain't had one forever. There we go. Oh, come on. God damn it. I hate the blue champion version son of a bitch. He doesn't stand still. At least we're going to get a soul heart when he dies. Which, don't get me wrong, that's good. He's very good. But he's annoying as shit in the process because he flies around all over the goddamn place. Kick his ass, demon baby. Kick his ass, sea bass. Will you just pop off your goddamn horse? Thank you. Now perish at my hands. Oh, you know my tears. Oh, come on. How the hell did that hit me? That was some straight up bullshit. I call shenanigans on that one. Die. Thank you. That's all so hot. And our crappy cube of meat. Yummy. And down we go to the basement part two. Oh, you know the cellar. God damn it. Oh, no, 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 I knew that was going to happen. Ouch. God damn it, demon. Hey, we found the secret room by mistake. God damn it, demon baby. You're a pain in the dick sometimes, killing things when I don't want you to kill them. God damn, there will be a slot machine. That's why we always get in there. And that was why I used the bomb on the tinder rock on the last floor anyway. And I hate that curse room. It is terrible. It is just terrible. What's up, giant spider buddies? Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Kill them. Kill them now. Thank you. Good work, demon baby. I need my HP. I need it. What's in the box? Oh, come on. I need a key. Well, I don't need a key, but I want a key. I'm first world problems. Right, we need... Oh, no! You did it again. Stop it, you troll son of a bitch. We need 12 more cents to go to the shop. We have enough keys, definitely, but, uh... Since, you know, the secret room was a complete pile of shit, probably ain't gonna get enough money now, which makes me a sad panda. We gotta go to the boss now to maximize our reroll chances. And we gotta try and... Oh, God. Screw that up horribly. I was gonna say we gotta try and one-shot pin with our bomb, and it did not work whatsoever. But we are doing decent damage. Where are you, little bastard? God, I hate pin. I hate any bosses not on the screen for half the time, so you can't even actually hit them. You just wait in there like a lemon for them to appear. God, it's irritating. Will you just die, you inconsiderate son of a bitch? Come on, buddy. One more good shot. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, we got to deal with the devil and our HP up. I will not re-roll that. We might re-roll what the devil has. Oh my god, no we're not. We're going to buy technology and we're going to buy the pact. Thank you very much. I'm very happy with that. Now we have powerful lasers, or at least, you know, more powerful lasers, and we got some soul hearts back, because whenever you buy the pact, I believe you get two soul hearts, and I think you get one when you buy the mark, something like that. And soul hearts, you know, they're not as good as red hearts, obviously. But it's not bad compensation. Oh, dick! I swear to God, Wrath only ever hits me if he walks into me. He's completely retarded. Yes, number one. Who does number two work for? So now we have maximum speed. Maximum force. Lasers, we have urine lasers, basically, and the best part is, number one usually minimizes your range. Don't do nothing to our laser freaking doom because it goes all the way across the screen. Absolutely amazing, look at this shit. I like it, the problem is we're only on one heart, but you know we got a couple of swords to protect us in the meantime. And another one, but we do need to acquire some more HP. Oh, come on, Abel. I don't want you, but I ain't got a choice because I ain't got no rerolls. Right, let's leave the shitty floor. Down we go, into the caves of doom and wonder and mystery. Ah, oh, catacombs. Damn you, games. Look at me, the hard floors. Hey, three in one. And the dice is charged. If we could find... Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it, every time. What the crap, demon baby? Stop it. Jesus, that's really irritating me now. Holy shit. My God. Right, okay, anyway. We can find the treasure room, or at least the boss, very quickly. Thanks, buddy. Very helpful. Now we can get to this chest for freeze. What do we get? Hey, key of trouble! Oh my god, that was close. Anyway, yes. We can maximize our reroll potential. We found the treasure room already. What's in here? Complete crap, I imagine. No, you know, I'm gonna take that. Sacrificial dagger is not bad. 
it's, you know, it's more protection around us, and I like protection. Always use a condom, kids, and you know, shoot me fucking if you're a kid anyway, but still, if you do, definitely use a condom. Anyhow, besides the protection, it's also really good because it does tons of damage. Of course, you don't want anyone that close to you, but if they are that close to you, at least they can get, you know, a taste of the knife of freaking justice. And justice will be served. I do want to use the Tempers to try and get HP up from the blood bank. Ouch! But... We are very, very freaking low. Oh my god, don't die in this freaking room. We are very, very low on HP and we cannot afford to waste it because as you can see, I am all but two hits from death. You know, depending on what we fight, maybe three, but still. That's very bad indeed. Okay. Um, how to deal with this? Don't really know. Maybe I can use Abel? Probably not. It's, it's, there's a reason I call him inable. He's bloody useless. Die, 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 die. Okay, thank God, right? And we got a bomb. Not bad, right? We can possibly find the secret room, hopefully. Because, you know, I'd like to go to the shop one of these bloody days. Now we have another one. I see two good locations, so we should be able to find the two, you know, the, the, hopefully. It's going to be either here or next to the shop. Please be here. God damn it, game. Why? Give me ten cents at least. Come on. Come on. Nine. You sons of bitches. You absolute sons of bitches. Give me another one. Come on. Give me another coin. Why did I just use the dice? Completely the wrong button. Well, there we go. Fuck it. Drastic times call for drastic measures. We have our heart back. We have an extra coin. We can now go to the shop and no doubt get disappointed by the presence of greed because that is what greed does. He kicks you in the nuts. Okay, he's not here. But hey, we got the compass. That is extremely good. I love the compass for the later floor so you don't have to dick around for like 20 minutes in the goddamn womb. I hate that shit. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, greed usually comes along and kicks you square in the balls when you're at your most happiest. He is such a complete dickhead. All right, we have Peep. Thankfully not a champion one. Holy crap, that nearly got me. We are doing pretty damn decent damage. Nothing, you know, too staggering. But it's certainly not bad. If we could get Abel in on this action, we could have a freaking lemon pie up in here. Oh, da, 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 da. That nearly got me. Abel, why are you so terrible? This is why I can't stand him, man. It only hits enemies that are right at the very center of the bloody room 90% of the time. And things don't stand around the middle of the room besides, you know, like Isaac and Blue Baby and to a certain degree, Gertie. But even Gertie's not really centralized. I just fucking hate Abel. If at the very least he did, you know, really staggering damage, it will make up for the... F oh, come on, no deal with the devil. That's bullshit. But at least make up for the fact that he's terrible in the meantime. Bombs are keys. That's crap, but at least we can reverse that because we have two of them. Tears up, I like. I don't think it will work. Tears down. Okay, that's bad. I think we had max fire because of the number one. I don't think the extra tears up did anything. And then we got a tears down, so I get the feeling we are probably actually down a tear, you know, a tear fire rate out of that. Which, oh Jesus, that was close. Which is really shitty if that is the case, but you know, whatever. Here we got a golden key. That will give us unlimited keys for the floor. Which is nice because we've already found our treasure room and this room gives us our charge. Excellent. Do I want the forever alone? Not particularly, no. I also don't want the shitty bean. Well, okay, we'll come back and re-roll that because, you know, we're definitely going to get one. And we'll come back for that key when we have a bomb unless we have something better to spend it on. We must weigh up our prospects. What's up, Gish, buddy? I hate this room. It looks deceptively easy. You know, the way they crisscross their freaking shots always gets me. Besides, you know, then, hey, speed up. I like it. God damn it, great. Uh, okay, at the very least, we did have enough money for the shop anyway, so we should get something out of this. Probably not much. Give me something to re-roll. You're a dick. You're a complete dick. Okay, so we don't have a blood bank on this floor, so all these spare hearts are not going to go to any use. But what can you do? What can you freaking do? At least we can go to the curse room just about. Assuming I don't lose this extra half of a soul heart, we'll just about be able to survive it. Right, we have our re-roll. Let's go back and re-roll this shit. I'm hoping to get something far superior to that terrible, terrible bean. The, the bean, honestly, is not terrible, but I just don't like it because it replaces the dice. Now, I don't, the remote down is good. Don't really want it. We're going to hold him to the dice for now. Again, we'll re-roll that. But at the very least, picking up the remote down there gives us an extra five bombs. So we can now get our spare key. Nice. I don't like re-rolling things more than once because, you know, it's a lot of freaking backtracking. It probably doesn't make for a very interesting video, but at least I can deploy the power of editing. The power of Grayskull to speed that shit up. If I absolute Oh, you dick! I wanted that, you son of a bitch. If I absolutely have to backtrack a hell of a lot, because, uh... I want to at least try and get something out of the floor, you know what I mean? Because, oh, Jesus! This room is terrible. What the hell do I do? Somebody save me! Save me, Superman! I, I don't know what to do. Just sap things. <laughs> Crap. How did I get away with that? You know what? I'll take it. We got coin ascent, and somehow we did not take damage. Secret room, secret room, secret room, secret room. Oh! I don't think I was in the right place. Stop shooting at you dicks. Okay, I wasn't there anyway. Well, that was a complete waste of a freaking bomb, but what can you do? Once again, our dice is charged. 
Come on, Polyphemus. Uh, you know what? I'll take that. Homing bombs. And it gives us five extra bombs as well. I like bombs and I like bomb effects, so I am happy with that. And now you have to backtrack all the goddamn time. That makes me a very, very happy panda. Right, let's find out what the crap's going on over here. Oh, come on. I want that bomb sitting there taunting me. You sexy temptress. How the hell did I place that? Whoops. I suck with the controls. Oh, Tammy said. Tammy said he's not bad. It's actually pretty good. I don't want it. So we gotta pick it up, use it so it doesn't reappear. Grab our dice back, and if we get a chance, we'll, you know, we'll debate whether to use that on the bus item. Possibly a devil deal, not that we could actually afford the goddamn thing, so I guess that's kind of irrelevant. Or we'll come back and re-roll the hit. I'm sure we'll just about get a charge, assuming these rooms are not empty, and they really shouldn't be. There's gonna be at least two more, we only need one. There we go, this will do it, and of course it's freaking greed hits. Luckily we have our humongous P laser of doom. And it's, oh, I'm nearly dead, this is very bad, this is very... Oh my god, that nearly hit me. Oh my god. Jesus, no, no, no. I don't want to freaking die. Okay. I really should go back for that half heart. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're not really fine, honestly. We're on the verge of death. Certain enemies can one hit us. That is far from fine. But we're alive, to put it another way. And being alive is better than being dead. Unless, you know, you're into that sort of thing. I don't know what you like. I want these pills. Give me all of the pills. Wait a minute. I think one of these was bombs of keys. And tears down. Well, that was a complete fuck up, wasn't it? At least we found the secret room completely by mistake. And we get six cents. Haley Joe Osmond. Yeah, I don't want I don't want that bombs of keys. Screw that nonsense. Let's fight the boss. Okay, it's the husk. Good. This guy is extremely easy, and because we have our P laser of doom, we can wipe out the freaking flies that he shoots out ridiculously easily, just like that. And you know spiders. Spider bros. No deal with the devil, you son of a bitch. Right, we'll take the HP up. Let's go re-roll this shitty head. Reroll! Oh the magnet. The magnet's not bad. It's not amazing, but it is not bad. It, at the very least, allows us to get this bomb over here. But you know, if we get flying later in the game, it's going to become absolutely obsolete. With so many bombs, we may as well look for the second secret room. You know, just, oh, never mind, there we go. Oh, god damn it. I was going to say, just in case we get an eternal heart in here, but no, we were not that lucky. You know what, that was a pretty damn good slot machine. We didn't get an eternal heart, but we got the curved horn for damage up. The High Priestess is an extremely powerful card. We got a bunch of bombs and shit. I call that a win. Not an amazing win, but a win. Anyway, since, you know, we don't have an eternal heart to waste, we may as well hit up the curse room, because there's health lying around, and we may as well see if we get something absolutely amazing like Polyphemus. No, we got freaking flurs. Okay, on to the depths. We're not doing bad, man. We have good damage. Not amazing, but good damage. We have very good fire rate. We got a good card, a good trinket. We're just kind of low on HP, but we can always, there's always, you know, like two opportunities to get more, so we kind of need to start building so hard or something at this point. Or get extremely lucky. Ouch. I could die here. This is extreme. Oh my god. This is extremely bad. Just die, you son of a bitch, before you kill me. Thank you, and we got hard back. Thank god for that. That was scary as shit. Not more of these sons of bitches. Come on, game. Jesus. These guys do way too much damage, man. It's insane. Ugh, I guess the treasure room is not in this direction. Well, screw that. At least we got some money out of it. Yummy. What the hell, man? That's kind of like a humongous detour. That sucks. Well, we ain't gonna get many rerolls out of this, are we? We can always try. We'll see, honey. We'll see. Hey, more free money. I like free money. Mmm. Floor money. Die. Jesus Christ. None of these things again. This is like the worst setup, because you can't shoot them through the rocks unless you have Spectral Tears. And we don't, and that nearly got me on the pass back. Hey! That's so hot. Thank you. Right, we gotta put a bomb here, just in case the secret room's up there, and we can get to the chest. And we got a key back and some money. That is most definitely a freaking win in my book. Free money, and we only need one more, and then we can go to the shop and guarantee we can get something, assuming that Prick Greed isn't in there. Again, which he very well might be, because he hates me. He hates me with a passion. Give me another saint game, god damn you. Okay, we have our boss. We have our first treasure room. We have also an extremely difficult room. And I really could potentially die in here. It's very easy to take three hits from these guys very fast. Okay, we just gotta kill this last heart. Die, die now. Thank you. Right, give me something amazing. That's not amazing. Neither is that. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but it's certainly not worth giving up the dice for, in my opinion. It works very well with the blood bank, because you can get free plays on there, but the blood bank is all the way at the other end of the goddamn floor. We have the fall, and we gotta fight this guy now. We're not gonna go into the main boss room, because we can't come back out of there once we enter. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> we got the horror battle on, which is not great. Again, 
I would like to re-roll that, because whatever you re-roll of the Fallen's, we'll re-roll into a Devil Item, and there are much better Devil Items we can get. I don't want the knife or, you know, Brimstone or anything like that. It's majorly going to change our tiers. But I would like, you know, the Mark or one of the familiar, something like that, even Common Cold Man. Any of that shit's good. I just don't like Horror Babylon, because you have to be on half a red heart for it to work. I don't want to be in that situation. It's really good for Blue Baby. But we ain't Blue Baby, because he's a prick. Come on, Mark, or come on, Cold. Wait a bit, what? Panties? What the hell? Apparently, if you leave the room and come back and re-roll it, it just turns into a regular boss item. Oops. Well, you learn something new every day, don't you? I didn't know that was the case. That fucking sucks. I'll be completely frank with you, that absolutely sucks, and we may as well re-roll it again. Ouch. Because, uh, yeah, range ain't gonna do a damn thing for us, because we have an infinite laser of doom and destruction. Get out of here, you fly sons of bitches. Da -da 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 -da. What's in here? Golden chest. We have tons of keys. I really should do that, shouldn't I? Oh, fine. We'll open a bloody golden chest. Give me something good. God damn it, game. Stop giving me things to re-roll. I love it, but I don't have the charges. There's quite a few rooms left by the looks of things, though, but, uh, holy shit. We've got to re-roll the bus, and we got to re-roll the first treasure room. We've got to re-roll this and potentially the other thing. And God knows what's going on in the freaking shop. God damn you, game. God damn you. I could just teleport out of here with the teleport, but, you know, we may as well finish it now. We're getting a bomb for our freaking troubles. Yay. Now yeah, we may as well go up here, get one more charge in our dice, and then re-roll the thing in the mob. Oh my god, horrible room. Re-roll the thing in the mob trap room. Hopefully. Oh shit. Damn it. Hopefully that doesn't make everything respawn, because I don't think I've ever actually re-rolled anything in there, so I don't know. I would assume not, but this game is buggy as shit, so god knows what's gonna happen. Or hell will break loose. Okay, it's safe. Hey, skeleton key. Yes, 99 freaking keys. Thank god, that is borderline orgasmic. I like it. So now we go, hey, we get to, oh, I didn't need to use that, but I guess it didn't matter anyway. Now we can go to the shop and everything else we want. We can do everything. We can do all of the things. The, uh, the umbilical cord is bloody terrible. All it does is when you're on half a heart, and it only works for red hearts if you're blue baby, it never bloody works. When you're on half a red heart, a little Steve familiar will pop out. Yay, that thing is crap. Literally the worst trinket besides the skull, and the skull is terrible. A game with Blue Baby, because every time you get hit and you're on half a red heart, it will teleport you out of the room. You ain't got no red heart, so you get teleported every single time you take a hit. So, if you have the skull and you can't get rid of it, you have to beat a boss without taking a single hit. Otherwise, you're going to get teleported out and have to start again. That is an extremely broken item, and good lord, I hope they don't overlook that in the remake. Fix it. It's broken as shit. No, 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 no. I want the Eternal Heart, but we don't want it right now, because we are definitely going to take damage, because I'm terrible. Just terrible. Right, what do we got here? Rage. I will take Rage. Rage is not amazing, but it is good. It is most definitely good. And it gives us a sweet red headband. Like Rambo. Greed. I hate you. I have money. Let me spend my money. That's all I want. That's all I want. I was going to say, hey, we got a key bag, but we really don't need that anymore. So that was largely pointless. But you know what can you do? Why are the Eternal Heart coming to me anymore? I want you. I want you inside of me. We will. I, I, I really need to try and remember to come back for that, but I will probably forget. I hope I don't, because I piss myself off when I do that, and I can imagine it's even more annoying to watch. It's really hard to try and remember, you know, one insignificant little tiny thing in one room when you're on a gigantic bloody floor trying to commentate and do a million other things at once. I mean, it's excuses, but it's true. The angel, oh my gosh. So now we have the angel, the meat, and the knife protecting us, and the angel makes them all spin it even faster. I don't think I've ever had the angel and the knife together. This is absolutely amazing. If anything comes near us... It's going to get torn up by the knife, and in the meantime, anything tries to shoot us, we have a huge ring of protection around us. I like it. Alright, let's quickly go recharge our dice again, then we'll go re-roll, uh, I guess, the boss item? Because I really desperately need a HP up. I mean, we could get one, or even better, from the, uh, the thing in the mob trap room, but it ain't very likely. We're probably going to get complete shit. So, that's probably our best bet. We might get enough, you know, there should be enough charges just about to get a second one. But it depends if any of the rooms are empty. If they're empty, we are basically phoned. Dang it, tomato bastards. Hey, another key, which we don't need, but still. Why did I just come in here? Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Well, we may as well finish it now. Okay, one more. Okay. Just realized my laser is actually turning darker when I shoot things. That's awesome. I've never had this with rage before, man. I'm new to all this shit. What's in the box? Panties. Oh, god damn it. Shears. I want the shears. You know what? We gotta try and get more rerolls. We'll come out. We'll come grab the shears at the end of the floor because I want the shears. 
haven't had them in a very long time and they're frankly amazing. So uh, yeah, we'll abandon the- oh Jesus! We'll abandon the dice for the shears, you know, assuming we live that long, and we're probably not going to because we're on half a heart, that's another tears down pill. That is not helpful game, it's not helpful. I really don't want to double back for a heart, but we really should. You know, actually, screw Lovely Mac, we'll go to the arcade instead, because that's probably more likely to give us decent amounts of HP and uh, some other stuff in between. We might get some good pills or something, you never know, or maybe a blood bag from the blood bank. I'm going to literally spend all of my money here, hopefully, because we ain't got no more shops left, so we may as freaking well. Pretty fly, kind of pointless, but whatever. All right, I'm going to blow this thing up because this is taking forever, quite frankly. Hey, we got tears up here. Well, at least we now know we are back to where we was before we got the tears down from that shitty, shitty blue pill. And see if we can get another charge on the dice, then go back and reroll the thing, hopefully get a HP upgrade, come back and grab the Eternal Heart, because yes, I still remember it, but I probably won't by the end of the floor. If we do, we will have four heart containers, which is much more than two. I would say it's actually double. I know. Basic math, right? We got more money. So now at least if we come across a beggar or we desperately need to use a slot machine, we have some money at our disposal to do so. Will you die before that thing shoots me? Thank you. Okay, we should definitely get, well, we will definitely get a recharge because this room will do it. Oh my god, that was close. Something, something, just die. How the hell have I not been hit yet? This is insane. Okay. We survived somehow. Right, I'm going to go back and reroll that thing, hopefully get HP up. Come on, HP up. Yes, and it's a damage up as well, which is bloody awesome. Right, now we're on three hearts. I'm going to go back and grab the eternal heart, because yes, I actually remembered. Amazing. This will put us on to four if I can keep it, but we can't leave her boss room when we enter, so we're going to have to not take damage to actually keep the damn thing, which ain't very likely, but it could happen. And if she drops her HP up as well, then we could potentially leave this floor with five heart containers, which will be absolutely humongous compared to two. I'm going to drop a bomb over here to get the shit out of here. I want that pill. Damn it, game, I want the pill. I don't know if it's good. Please be good. Don't be HP now. You know, bad trip or something. That will... Oh my god, please be good. Oh, it's tears up. Well, that was probably not worth the bomb. I don't think it's going to do anything, but you know, at least it wasn't bad. May as well blow this up whilst we're... Oh yeah, i got to go back and get the shears. Almost forgot. Go back and grab the shears and then we can bust on out of this joint. Okay, it's time to lay the smack down this bitch. Pop the shears immediately. Pop the devil card. And then just don't get freaking hit. We are doing some bloody amazing damage. Gotta watch out for the arms. And you know these exploding heads and shit. They are the biggest threats. Just don't punch me, you bitch. That is what always gets me on this fight. My leg, the things on the side, not so bad. But those bloody arms that come out, they're insane. Oh my god, we did it. Didn't get HP up, unfortunately. But we're at least keeping the eternal heart. We have our Polaroid. And down we go. Okay, as I'm sure it comes to no surprise to anyone. Wait a minute, where the balls am I going? We have the <laughs> we have the compass. Good work, brain. Good freaking work. Anyway, I was gonna say, as I'm sure it comes to no surprise to anyone, we uh we got a hell of a lag out there, so I've reset the recording. Hopefully we'll not desync. The game does not like double floors, it lags the balls out. But it's good for me, because we know where the bosses are, you know, roughly. We can get out of the womb and you know, record time, because there's nothing for us down here. Nothing. The womb is a horrible, horrible, treacherous place for the death and destruction. It's just terrible. Right, what's over here? Okay, I like this room. This is a good room. I'm gonna blow this up and see if we can get out of the chest. Don't give me keys. Stop it! At least we got our bomb back. God damn it, man. I, I don't think I've ever had so many key drops in one run ever. And of course they come when we get the bloody skeleton key. At least we had an easy way to the boss. We didn't take any damage. I like it. Uh, you know, blow this up just in case there's a tinted rock there. We have tons of bombs. We may as well use half a heart on this guy. Well, you know, a whole heart, but it doesn't really matter. The extra half ain't gonna do shit. Come back and get this. You know, well, he could have paid out. He never does, but he could have done. Death. Well, shit. At least we're gonna get a second level cube of meat out of this. We're still gonna have the protection. But on the plus side, we have a little dude doing some damage. I'd really like to not get hit on this guy, but you know, we'll see. Oh my god, I hate this guy so freaking much. It's the horse. It just takes so long to kill. Death ain't no thing but a chicken wing, man. But the freaking horse just refuses to die. It's like flogging a dead horse. 
<laughs> Puns. They're not funny and nobody likes them, but people do it anyway. Why? Because it amuses the person doing it. Oh, jeez. And that's what matters. Holy shit, bro. Get on my freaking level. Why are you not dying? Thank you. And there's our cube meat. So now we got a little smiley face in our cube of meat. Isn't that nice? And the shears charge just in time. Speaking of just in time, we had a janitor in our school called, just, called Justin. I don't know his last name, but there was a pro wrestler called Just Incredible, so we always used to call him Just Incredible. I would have thought that was kind of a compliment. The guy went batshit insane one day and shouted at everyone, was like, You know that's not my name! Stop calling me that! He was really, really pissed off. He shocked the shit out of everyone, because we didn't know he didn't like it. He went fucking nuts! I was like, what the hell, dude? I'd like to be called Just Incredible. That's a cool name. It's a pun and it's weird, but it's cool. Okay, she's nearly dead. That was a really weird tangent. It reminded me, what can I say? Almost gotta just die before the flies kill me. Oh, that's right, we have Scatoli. Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently, we beat the wound without taking damage. Suck it. That was completely accidental. But I'll take it. I would. Ouch! And immediately I take damage on the spikes, but you know what, it was worth it because it's a bad trip pill. And when we are down to one heart, it will become a four health pill, so effectively we've made one heart to get three back. That's a profit. Would have been better if I didn't take any, but what can you do? Thanks, horse buddy. Of course there's a bloody key in the rock. Stop it! I don't need your keys. I want the head to die, I want the head to die, I want the head to die. The head is dangerous. The pony ain't nothing. The pony is shit. Freaking head. The head is dangerous as balls, and apparently has a ton of HP. Don't you, buddy? Yes, you do. There we go. Come on. Come on, horsey. There's a good horsey. Have a carrot of death. Why are you not dying? Right, I think this is probably going to be the way to Isaac, but it could go either way, right? Well, maybe not. Because if we went on the right, I feel like the rooms would have to attach, and they can't possibly attach unless it's a double floor, which you cannot get on the cathedral. So, I feel like that shouldn't be the way to the boss. I, I think we've picked the right direction here. God, I hope so. And I hate Loki. He has so much HP. It's just frankly unreasonable. He does look bloody awesome though, really. But, uh, yeah, he's a little dick. Aren't you, buddy? Yes, you are. Right, one more hit. We have to pop the bad trip here already, which is really, really shitty. But if we have to do it, we have to do it. Drop a red heart. Fucking keys. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, this should be the way to the boss. And we're getting some, you know, reasonably easy room as Loki was a dick. Okay, this is not an easy room. So much so. I'm actually... Oh my god. Bad, very bad. Pop the pill. Okay. I was gonna try and blow my way out of there, but, uh... Yeah, that thing is kind of protecting the doorway. Oh my god. You're the world's most annoying bouncer. Oh, homing bombs. You've screwed me over. At least there's a few less rocks now, so I can kind of sort of slightly somewhat shoot him if he would get on my freaking level. Get on my level, son? You know what's gonna be annoying? After he jumps off, yeah, after he jumps off his freaking pony of doom, we gotta kill this thing slow as shit again, because that's what the pony does. My god, death will you die, thank you. Finally! <laughs> Jesus! That thing takes way too long to kill! Okay, we're only down half a heart. It ain't gonna make a single difference, and the shears just charged in time again. It was like it was meant to be. Right, pop the shears there, let the body go, and it drop a freaking bomb, and hopefully not do that and take a freaking hit. Right, every time we take a hit, we're gonna run in, drop a bomb, and try and cut him up with our knife of doom. He's almost in the second stage. The first one is by far and away the most dangerous, in my opinion, unless you get very unlucky on the third stage and he decides to spawn angels all over the goddamn place. The second one is a bloody joke. The homie shots ain't nothing, man. Right, we're doing well. He's almost half dead. Da, 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 da. That was very close. Right after I said there ain't nothing. Oh, Jesus. Gotta remember as well, we have a hell of a lot of protection here, so even if I do screw up immensely, I really shouldn't take that much damage as long as, you know, the game doesn't decide to screw the shit out of me, which it might. Right, it's on stage three. Hopefully it doesn't spawn a ton of freaking angels. He's already done two, but we can at least pierce through them with our lasers of doom, so, uh... He laser to the rescue. Okay, line him up, line him up, and knock him down. Line him up, and knock him down. Okay, da, 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 da. okay, we got rid of most of them. That's right. Keep eating. Little do you know you're drawing ever closer to the poison donuts. Excellent. Isaac is down. We get so hot. Right, we're not doing bad on HP. We're not doing amazing, but we are not doing bad. What do we get here? Not bad so far. That's actually bloody awesome. We get Harlequin Baby, which is a good familiar. We get Triple Shot, which is that? Oh my God, we have giant laser. And I don't know if chocolate milk works, but we'll take it anyway, just in case. 
Can you do like charge laser shots? I don't know. Do I want to take two? Yes, I'll take take two. We may as well go whole hog, whole kit and caboodle. No spikes. Okay, good. This is a good room. That was very close. Oh shit. Okay, dead end bunch. Oh my god, we have a long way to the boss. That's bad. But we are at the very least, as long as I don't take damage, gonna come out of this with an extra soul heart. And a red heart. That was bloody worth it. God, I love blue champion bosses. Don't hit me. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, that was close. And I believe I actually can do charge shots with the technology laser. That's amazing. I've never had this before. I cannot believe. We have tech one, tech two, triple shot. Freaking max fire rate. And chocolate milk. That is an insane combination. And it shows because we are absolutely ripping this place up. Like a badass. We you freaking die? Why is Rat always the last one to live? What's this? Shoop the... <laughs> I love the face on that, it looks amazing. I don't want it though. Give me shears all freaking day long. At least we know we're gonna have a charge on the shears. Ready for the boss, cause holy shit, is he a long bloody way away. I don't mind super rap, man. The troll bombs that chase you, if they surprise you, like comes out of a chest or something, you don't expect it. It can be hard to run away, but when you know they're coming, you have plenty of freaking time, man. Like, ain't really a problem unless you get a nasty crisscross. Yes! More bombs and we get extra blast damage. Now we are tweaking like crap. Gotta love this. Okay, gotta take out Grid. He is the dangerous one. Don't hit me. Oh my god, that was close. Thank god for our protection. This is why I will very rarely turn down anything that spins around you. It is so game-breakingly good. It's astounding, especially in combination with the insane shit that we have. Like, my god, has this been a powerful run. It may not necessarily look like it. It was, you know, for a few flaws, it really wasn't. But towards the end here, we are insanely OP, man. We have tons of defense. We have the shears. We have shields all over the goddamn place, we've got good familiars, good damage, extremely fast shots, charge shots, everything man, it's nutty! I love it! Isaac versus Blue Baby, round one! Fight strike! Let us rain down upon him with our giant freaking destructive troll bombs of justice! And justice is served whilst our body goes to town in here, and even Enable is getting in on the action! My god, we are literally ripping him a new arsehole. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've definitely killed the guy faster, but, you know, combined with our defense, this has been an extremely good run, and a hell of a lot of fun. Give me giant pea lasers of justice all freaking day long. And there he goes, and I believe we didn't actually take any damage in the chest. Chest boy achieved. Alrighty, guys, as always, if you enjoy the video, I always appreciate it. A like helps to promote the video, and, you know, it shows me you're enjoying it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time for more Isaac.